Being accused in a deadly high-speed crash in Green Bay has been moved to a juvenile detention section of the Brown County Jail. This ends concerns about 16-year-old Sienna Pecor's initial placement now in the adult section of the jail. Pecor faces several charges, including first-degree reckless homicide. Back in October of 2022, investigators say Pecor was driving over 100 miles per hour on Mason Street in Green Bay when she crashed her vehicle and killed her passenger, 17-year-old Cruz Beltran. In a first alert update, Brittany Schmidt tells us why a debate about Pecor's pretrial custody is over, at least for now. State of Wisconsin versus Sienna Pecor. 16-year-old yeah. Sienna Pecor and her defense attorney appeared in Brown County Court via Zoom today for a review of Pecor's placement while waiting for her jury trial to begin in February. Last month, Brown County Judge John Sikowski rejected a motion by her defense to move the case to juvenile court. He also rejected a motion by the defense to move Pecor to a juvenile detention facility. Instead, the judge kept her in the adult section of the Brown County Jail as long as juvenile requirements are being met. That decision required a status check every 30 days. Today, the court learned the circumstances in jail have changed. Uh, as of earlier this week, uh, the defendant has been moved to the juvenile detention center at uh, Brown County Sheriff's Office, now does have the capacity to open a pod for female juveniles in the juvenile detention center. So it's my understanding that that is where she is being housed and where they intend to continue to house her at the very least until her 17th birthday. PCOR's defense attorney says they learned of the move last night. She says she still doesn't know what that means in terms of treatment, education, or access to resources juveniles are required to have by law. At this point, I, I really have so little information about the current status of her housing that I'm unable to offer more comment other than just to reiterate that the way in which she was being housed was entirely inappropriate and contrary to the law, and it remains to be seen uh, what, what happens from here on. The court finds PCOR's current placement to be adequate. I'm satisfied that CN is being properly housed. She's being properly housed in a juvenile detention facility. She's with juvenile inmates, female inmates, and she's not having contact, sight or sound contact with any adults. PCOR is due back in court in February. In Brown County, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.